In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own storybook for kids like what you're seeing on screen now, using just Canva and ChatGPT. Now, this is actually a pretty simple thing to do. Since we're letting ChatGPT create the story for us, it means that anyone can do this even if you have no experience with writing. So in order to get started, you first want to head over to ChatGPT and you just want to start a new chat. From there, we want to go down to the message box. So I've just typed out a prompt like this, which says create a short story for kids that teaches them a good life lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter and I'm going to see what it generates. Okay, so it's created a story and just having a quick look at it, it does look quite good. However, in my opinion, this is a bit too long for a short story. And it also has some bigger words in like this, which younger kids may not understand or be able to read. So I'm going to ask for it to make it more simple and a bit shorter. And I'm going to go ahead and click enter and we can see what it gives me now. Okay, so it has generated a simpler and shorter version. However, I'd actually rather the story be about something else. So I've just said, can you make the story related to something else with a different life lesson? And I'm going to go ahead and click enter. Okay, so it's created a new story about a tiny seed named Sammy. And this seed ends up growing into a beautiful flower and spreads happiness. So in my opinion, this is a pretty good story for a kid's book. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and we can save this for later. So from here, we want to go into Canva and we're going to start designing the storybook. So once we have Canva opened, we should be able to see this search bar at the top. And we can actually just search for storybook. And they will actually give us all of these, which are preset stories that someone else has made. Or you can even create a blank storybook, which is what we're going to do. However, if you weren't that good at designing and you did want to take some inspiration from someone else, you could take one of these preset books and you could just change a few things like the photos and you can make the photos related to your story. However, for this video, I'm just going to create a blank storybook. So what you first have to do is choose a colour for the background and you can do that by going up here and clicking this and we can select this to choose whatever colour we want. Now, I'm going to make mine kind of like a pale colour. I recommend lighter colours so that the writing and photos are easier to see. From here, we can go ahead and get the title, which is Sammy's Seed of Kindness. And I can copy that and we can go back to Canva. So what I'm going to do from here is go over and click text. And we can simply add a text box and then paste in our title. So this is our title pasted in. And we now want to change the font and the size of the title. So we can change the font by going up to here. And by default, it is set to Comic Sans, which is a decent font for a kid's book. However, I recommend you look through all of these fonts and find one that matches the theme of your book. Okay, so I've found this font here, and in my opinion, this looks pretty good for a kid's book. So I'm just going to center this and drag it up higher. And now that we've dragged in our title, we want to now add some photos. So we can go over to Elements up here on the left, and we can simply scroll down until we find frames. We can click See More on this, and here we can see a whole bunch of different frames. And you can actually drag these into your photo, and then drag photos inside of these frames. So if we decided we wanted uh, so if we decided we wanted this photo inside of the frame, we could drag it like that. And as we can see, there's now a flower inside of the flower frame. Now I'm going to keep this flower frame because it relates to our story. However, I'm going to try to find a photo of a seed which we can put in here. Now we can also use Canva's AI tools, which will help us out a ton. So we can go over to the left hand side and click on apps. We can then type in text to image in the search bar and we can find this one at Magic Media. This will allow us to simply type out some words and we will receive a photo in whatever style we pick. Now for the style, I'm going to set this to playful down here because this is the type of art we want on a children's book. So for my prompt, I'm just going to type something related to this. So I've wrote a small seed starting to grow into a flower and I can now click generate image. So as you can see, it's generated some images now and I quite like this one at the top. So I'm just going to drag this into our frame. Okay, so I've dragged my photo into the frame. However, I've decided that it might look better without the frame. So I'm going to delete that and I'm actually going to use this as the background instead. For this page, I think it will work better. Okay, so now that I've got this in the right position, I'm going to change the background color. And at this time, I'm going to go ahead and pick this pink color. And as you can see, it now blends in nicely. I'm also just going to change this text on the front to white so that we can see it a bit better. And that's now starting to look pretty good. I'm also going to click on effects and I'm just going to add a curve. And I'm going to curve it a little bit less. But I think a nice curve on this will make it look good. And I'm also going to add a light shadow just so we can see this text a bit better. And I'm happy with that for the start of our storybook. So I'm going to go ahead and click add page. And from here we can start pasting in some of the story. So this is the first sentence here. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to Canva. And I'm going to add a new text box and paste this in. 
Okay, so I've changed the text to white on here as well. And I'm also going to add a shadow to this just because it will make it a little bit easier to see. I'm also going to make the shadow black so that we can see the writing. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Now we need to add some images to help illustrate our story. So I'm going to go over to elements and I'm going to add in a frame. And I'm going to go down to this blob one and click see all. From here, we can find one that fits the page well. And I'm just going to choose this one. So now we want to add some images in here that relate to the story. So this part of the story is about there being a tiny seed called Sammy. And Sammy dreams of growing into a beautiful flower. So I'm going to add a garden background here and I'm going to add a seed to it. Now if we go over to elements, we can actually search for stuff in this box. So I'm just going to search in grass background and I'm going to find something that looks kind of like a garden. Okay, so this is perfect for what I want. So I've dragged this into my frame. And from here, I'm just going to add a photo of a seed. So I'm going to try and find a photo of a plant pot with a seed in or something like that. Okay, so this photo looks pretty good. So I'm just going to drag this in the middle right there. And what we can also do is add in some images in the background if you think you need them. So you could get some photos like these plants, for example. And we can simply drag it up to the top and make it a bit smaller. And these can kind of go in the background in the corner. And we can also lower the transparency of them so that they're a bit harder to see. I'm just going to get another one which I can put in this corner. And that looks pretty good. Now when you are doing this, I recommend you add as much detail as possible. Because if we go back to this design section here, as you can see, these books look really professional. And they have lots of elements in. So you can see there's a flower in the corner here, some plants at the top, text and an image with a nice coloured background. So mine might be a bit too plain and simple. However, if you were doing this properly and trying to make the best book possible, I would recommend that you add as many elements as possible to make it look really professional. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created a new page and added the second sentence in. However, as you can see, I've simply just copied and pasted the last one and just added in a few more elements. Now, if you are doing this properly, I'd recommend you seriously put some time into it and make each page look unique. So for example, the plants in the corner are the same on each page. I'd recommend that you get rid of these and do something new every time that relates to the story. And that will help make your story a lot more engaging. Now I'm not going to complete the entire story for this video, but let's just say this is our book completed. What we can do is go up to the top right corner and click share. And from here we can go down to the bottom and we want to click this more button here. We can then scroll down until we see this section which says design and we'll see two options. But we're going to use this one on the right which says simple booklet flip. And we can click OK and we can click open. And from here we're going to have to sign in to our account. But if you don't yet have one, just go ahead and create one quick or you can sign in with something like Google. Okay, so now that I've connected my account, I can go ahead and click export my design and we can now create the design. Now, as you can see, it is charging me two pound because I've used some pro elements, which I haven't actually got in my subscription plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them quickly and I'm just gonna do this again. And I've now saved it and it's preparing my design. From here, we can go back. So from here, we can go to this website, Simple Booklet, and we just want to sign into the account which we just created if it is your first time using Simple Booklet. Okay, so I've signed in now and here we can see our pending design, which is Sammy's Seed of Kindness. So I can go ahead and click convert and it's now preparing our Canva design into a flip book. So we can keep the title as what it is, if it is right. And we also want to make this set to recommended. And this will basically change how the book changes page. So as you can see, this is how a traditional book works. So we're going to keep it on page curl and we can go ahead and click convert. OK, it says our preview is now ready and we can go ahead and click view preview. So as you can see, when we turn the page, it now operates like a book and we can see our story. Of course, it looks a bit plain because I had to remove those elements I was using since they were for the paid plan. However, if you've actually got a paid plan and you're able to add whatever elements you want, you can make this look really professional by just using Canva and ChatGPT. So this has been my video showing you how to create a storybook for kids using just Canva and ChatGPT. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you know how to create your own storybook for kids using just Canva and ChatGPT. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and comment down below to say it helped you out. And also like and subscribe to see some more content like this. Thanks for watching.